Well, howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna do another fun DIY video for you today. Now you may have seen my recent video where I made this. This is a Cherokee four hole whistle. It's like a teeny tiny flute basically. Sounds something like this. This one, you know, makes five different tones or actually more than that as I show in the video, but you know, it's, it's, it's a multi-toned whistle. But I thought, you know, there's a lot of single tone whistles out there too, like Amazon death whistles and other things. I did a video about those a while back. Anyway, so I Googled for what other DIY whistles are there out there and oh my gosh, there's a lot. But the one that really caught my attention was the CD whistle. And it's called a CD whistle because all you need to make it are three CDs. And these are just blank CDRs, but you could use DVDs or, you know, CDs with data on them. It doesn't matter, you know, store-bought CDs. It doesn't matter. You just need three discs and some super glue. Now I don't have any super glue or well, I did have super glue, but it was dried up. So I'm gonna use a glue stick instead. Hopefully this works, but basically that's all you need. The only tool that you need is the scissors and then you need something to act as a resonator. And they said to try different size things, get different tones. So I've got an empty growler here. I've got an empty coffee cup here. I've got an empty ball jar and then I've got an empty shot glass. Take your, take one of your CDs and you basically just want to cut out a little small, um, like strip that goes right to that center hole. So you can see there, I just kind of cut that like that. And I'm going to do the same thing right next to it. I'm just not being too careful here because this is not super important. There you go. So you can see what I did. Just cut out a little strip there, okay? Then you take your other two CDs and you sandwich them, all three, just like that, right? Then you take the center CD and you wanna slide it just a little bit up from the other two CDs so they're not all three quite lined up. Um, and that's what you wanna do and then you just wanna glue them. Okay, so I glued that, pressed it with a little bit of weight, gave it uh, about a minute or so to dry and it seems to have worked. Um, I don't know if it's, Super airtight, but I think it's gonna do the job. So you can see here, you've got, that's basically your little mouthpiece. You're gonna blow through this, and then the air is gonna come out here. Now, of course, right now we don't have any sound because we don't have a vessel. It's a little quieter. I suppose the, the ceramic might not ring as well as the glass. Okay, that's pretty cool. I just realized you could actually move the jar a little bit and get some, some pitch changes. So not much happening on the growler. Um, I think it probably needs to have a fairly large top like these others. In fact, this one really sounds the best. I'm wondering if conical actually might be, you know, might help for the sound. So let me see if I can find another conical object. So definitely conical glass seems to work well. Let's go back to the shot glass really quick. I think that one was actually probably my favorite. Kind of cool, kind of a cool effect. I could see actually using this, you know, as like a background sound in a song. I could see that being, you know, something that fits in there. So that is how you make a CD whistle. Very simple. You just need three CDs and some super glue in my case. A glue stick. Anyway, if you like what I do on this channel, I would really appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button for me. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys soon.